what we're going to do is we're going to take a cartridge from the Famicom Famicase exhibition, which is a fantasy, uh, like a fantasy cartridge. All you do is you create uh, the people. I guess they submit and they create these images, and even some of them have like a little byline. Uh, let's see, which one did I see had a, that had a byline? You know, like some of them have uh, some text that will actually show you uh, uh, like what what they think the game should be. But it's basically just like a, a retro cartridge thing and you, you're adding the you're adding the picture to the case so that's what we're going to use and we're going to use that for our um, for our inspiration that's what I'm trying to think of inspiration um, well something else uh, I believe this time I'm going to utilize the Unity 3D um, I think your uh, coat line is as well going to use the unity 3d um, and so uh, let's see I have project set up um, and I actually was hurriedly adding a couple of things I wanted to add that pixel perfect camera if you guys have ever used unit unity 3d you have a pixel perfect camera now and I'm going to do 640 by 360 but it does the same thing that Godot does uh, when you do the window size and you do the 2D, the aspect, the stretching, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to do pixel snapping, I'm going to crop the frame, and I'll stretch to fill. And bazam, we've got our camera. I'm going to create a, actually I'm going to go in here. Oh man, I don't have my, um, hmm, I thought I had recompiled all that stuff. I don't have my uh, helper utilities in here. I'm going to go check that real quick. Oh, hey, you need to plug in your, uh, uh, you can plug in your um, your your microphone. We totally forgot to do that. I've got to plug in Codeline's microphone. Hey, how's that? Does that look good for you? So we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna just close that. How many things you got open? Just two. No, one. That'll slow you down. OBS Studio. And you, you should, yeah, you should be ready to go there. There you go. Yours is, let's see, tools, you got it, streaming. Okay, so let's, uh, okay, well done. Uh, let's check your your stuff. I'm going to go to your screen and I want you to talk. Um, okay. Talking. Oh. So, okay, yeah, that does work. Does work. Um, I'll let, I'll have you all the way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one other thing. Oh yes, that was to turn down, <laughs> the turn down. My music. Funny, I don't even see it. Where did it go? It's not there. Hmm. Oh, I bet I know. I bet I know. Let me check here. Device, there we are. Okay, so this got messed up when I plugged in there. So <laughs> let me let me pull that down some. Sorry about that. I don't know exactly what was going on. But now now we actually have the the music. Um, and you know, I usually keep it about there, so if it's hopefully it's not too loud. We'll uh, we can adjust it later if we need to. So um, what do we have? What are we going to do here? 
Oh, and um, you know what I should do, Mr. Coatline, is I should put the countdown timer on your screen as well. And we'll just use the timer text, and I'll just pop it right on there. And we'll move it down here where mine is. Make it a little bit larger. Put it right there. Okay, so we've got two, two people here with our... I should add it to the split screen as well. I didn't realize I didn't add that to the split screen. This is the split screen. This is two separate Unity projects on two separate computers. That's right. We are technologically advanced here, and we're going to show you what goes on with two people simultaneously. It's amazing. I know. You've never seen it before, and yet you really have, and you know it. Okay. I'm going to move that a little bit as well. I don't want it to stick to the sides. So can I push, like... There we go. I just want it to be like that. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. Uh, okay, I'm going to... Let's check the split screen. Uh, yeah, I think probably see fairly decently. Actually, we'll, we'll go to the right screen. Go ahead and uh, code line. Head over to the Famicom Famicase ex exhibition and uh, start clicking on cartridges and find one that you like. Um, and I'll do the same. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, let's see. I don't. So this is you. Yeah, I'm not sure. Actually, we'll do the split screen because those things are large enough such that we can see what's going on there. And let me turn that off. Sorry about that. I'm going to mute his computer. So that's him right there. And I've got this one. The reason his is white and mine is not is because I went in. <laughs> I downloaded the, the 2019 database and I changed uh, the style so it's it's black instead of white. I don't know. So I'm, I'm strange like that. Okay. Of course, I think he probably can see the text over here, whereas I won't be able to because I didn't change that part. But what's have I? I mean, I could always go and, and check what... what the, oh, look at that! Fantasy wrestling! <laughs> I don't think I can do that in two hours. <laughs> but those little guys are pretty cute. Look at that. Hey, check this out. Look at that. Huh? Pretty neat, huh? Let's see if I can zoom this. Hey! Hey, do that! Zoom this! Yeah, do that. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, so they so everybody can see. And then I guess you have to do every one of them, but... No, you don't. You don't? No. Well, how come I'm having to zoom? Let's see. Oh, back. Go shooter. And then just go back once, and you're saying that I can just... No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I have to do them all. That's all right. There's a lot of them to choose from. Um, I'm just keeping the ones I think I might use... Oh, hold on. What? Wait a minute. What did you say? I'm keeping the ones I think I want you to. Oh, I see what you're doing. That's a great idea, actually. <laughs> Why did not think of that? Um, now, now to that one. That's a cool one, but no. Uh, Yoshiro. And sometimes there's some text over here. See? Yeah. See, what I should do is go back in there and... Uh, see, it, it tells you... That's really too small, though. That whole thing's too small. So maybe I should go. Maybe I should just uh, reset what I did, so I can see what I'm doing. Good old Visual Studio. Um, believe it was in here, and I believe I just said window. And that may have been, yeah, right here. I mean, of course, I could say, I could do that, and I should be able to say something like, I know, we're not supposed to be editing CSS right now. That's not the, that's not what we're here for. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a weakness, I guess. Uh, what is it, font color? What is it called, For, foreground color? See, I, I really shouldn't be messing with this. Let's not. I'm just going to take these out. 
and then we'll do we'll just do a reload. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I like this picture. Uh, I like what that looks like. Let me close Mr. VS Code. Uh, but I don't, I don't know what I would do with that. So, um, sub sola. Searching for star searching the stars for hidden treasure is not easy, especially when you don't belong there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean, that's an interesting. That's an interesting idea. I think no, I don't want to add a bookmark. Don't add a bookmark. Just duplicate. Used to it was easier to do. Okay, I'm gonna save that one because I kind of like the idea. Uh, it's in Japanese, so I don't I don't know what that is. Uh, but the picture's nice. Don't want to use that. Meltdown, a single-player RPG set in a decaying city. Oh, you, it's hard to see, isn't it? Its only source of power has begun to destabilize, and the player must venture deep into the heart of an reactor to prevent a meltdown from wiping out. No, no, no. Something much simpler. Look. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what that is, but we'll continue. And this one's in Jap Japanese. Ooh, you get, you found a cat one. What's that one? Tenta cats. That's cool. All right, are you going through them like um, piece by piece? I was, but now I'm just picking out ones I like. Yeah, it's hard to see though. Use your camera to add color to the world. Hmm. There's another camera one. A game about a ph photographer and their trusty camera traveling the world to capture the most unique and beautiful scenes. You can do it, cameraman! No, no. That looks like an egg. What is that? No thanks. I should be able to make these a little bit bigger. Larger. Whatever. Uh, nope. Let's just hope we don't end up with the same thing. Look! Oh, hey, how about this? That. It's a Nintendo Switch one. What? A Switch one. Why do you say so? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I like this one. So I'm gonna... I'll duplicate it. Come back over here. I like the slide, the slide deal. Oh yes, and I, I, I remember seeing this one um, earlier. I like I like that style. It's pretty cool. So I'll take that one. Um, neat. But I don't know what the game. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, our rules are basically what we wanted to be. So you don't have to. You don't have to do what the text says. But it's actually it's a nice it's a nice way to at least get some sort of idea of what you might want to do. Like the art style there. I like the art style on that one too. Well, that's pixelized. You know, that's why I would like it, of course. Looks like some kind of electric eel game, huh? Yep, that's not really. A, I can't really get anything from that. Now I, I kind of. That's basically one of those serve me food games right there. Are you reading the text? Yeah. Kitty text. <laughs> Kitty Text is a visual novel in which we can chat with many cats, which we will know through a mysterious message application. The messengers, or the players, will assume the role of a cat, which of course can be baptized with the name they want. <laughs> baptized. <laughs> All right, that's kind of an interesting idea, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Did you save this one? I did, but then I checked it out. That one's funny. I mean, I like it. What's this fellow? I uh, know. I like it, but it's uh, not doable. The, I saw. Did you come by this one? Yeah. After a long work, it's time to harvest everything you've done. That just man, that would be a lot of um, 
I should put the timer in the middle. That would be a lot of uh, that would be a lot of asset creation. But I do like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate it, even though I most likely won't use it. I, I still like it. And here's another interesting case that, it, while it's in Japanese, or I think it's Japanese, it's still a neat neat looking case. What's this one? Kanyo game. Bunch of people at the beach. We're gonna have to wind, wind, wind this up. Hey, here we go. Protect the circle. Gravity and physics are all that can help your spinning desk crush the squares before they leave the circle. Quick reflexes and strategic thinking will be essential on your journey to master over 40 levels of action in the circular. Now, uh, that's actually something that's similar-ish to uh, one of the prototypes that I had. Oh, that's cool looking. Mm, I think I'll use it. Wait a minute. What were you saying? I think I'll use this one. Like it, huh? Yeah. Here, this one. Good old Tinta Cats. All right, I guess we should uh, uh, wrap this up, right, and figure out what we want to do. Oh, remember this? Do you remember this game? It looks like a, a, a Dig Dug kind of oh. tech. Do you, I don't know if you remember that game or not. I, yeah, I do. Metaru. Explore the moon. And I'll tell you what, these are uh, pretty inspirational, to be honest. And there's um, there's a bunch of them on the main website. There's I don't remember how long they've been doing this, but they've been doing it for quite a while. It's actually a neat, a neat place to get ideas from. And then, you know, if, if we could, I just could probably just tr have that translated and then get some more cool ideas from some of these. How about the, did you see this one? The origami one? Yeah. Roller Beat Park, anybody? It's not just a regular stroll through the park. There's a gang of pesky skateboarding moles taking over the park, but you just want to rollerblade and listen to some catchy tune. Tss. React to obstacles by listening closely to a variety of audio cues and mastering master avoiding those troublemaking moles. I tell you what, those moles, I tell you, they're always making trouble. What's this hill here? Small and the fluffy beast. I like I like that. It's cool. What's this? Let's culture. Bacteria have always been friends. It's only now that we're listening. Cultivate a variety of colorful microbes and hit the lab with your fellow scientists and engage in friendly battles. All in the name of science. Get ready to uncover the wonderful world of microbiology and let's culture. That's cool. I like that one. I like the I like the way that looks. That's a neat kind of a neat idea. You have to think about it some more though. Uh, nope. That's not something I can do. Silkworm culture. I like I like the art. I actually really like that. That's neat. Okay. It seems like I'm tending towards more towards the um, the abstract ones. And this is another one though. The 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 uh, the the case on this one. It doesn't really say much to me. The this uh, the text it doesn't really it doesn't really specify much. So I'm, I don't get much from it. Now here's an interesting one. What's this? Okay. Yeah, see I still don't get an idea of what the game would be from the case or from the from the description. It's just kind of more general generalized. Oh, so it's just basic. This isn't even a game. It's just a low, a lo-fi, hip-hop music cartridge. But I, you know, we can make whatever we want. Okay, just a couple. Of, hey, look at this one, Spy Guy. That's a cool one. Beautiful castle. Oh, blood splatter explosion technology. Learn the secrets of the beautiful castle death machine on a peaceful spring morning, haunting your skills before the battle royale. One to two players. That doesn't look like a game that would have blood in it. It just looks like a nice, 
Oh, it was like cotton candy or something down there, like it's in a, it's in a cotton candy cloud or something. I didn't know they had text. You didn't, you didn't know they had text? Mm -hmm. Huh, they got text. I don't know. Pretty neat, eh? Here's an RPG. I like these characters. Still can't do that, really. Meteor Heat. Now, that's an interesting idea. You know, if you could do some kind of racing game. Hey, I was looking at that one too. That's a neat one. Mm. I like this. I like this idea. I mean, it just gives me kind of like a a game where you race another player. I don't know to the to the finish line of some thing. That wouldn't be that probably wouldn't be too awful difficult. And then you have a, you have a multiplayer one. You could even do you could do single player with it too. I'm going to duplicate that. Duplicate. And we're almost done here. Then we'll have to decide what to do. This is the first one. I'm not getting a uh, clear idea of what I would want to do from that. Uh, zero. The gravity at zero, the stakes are high. Can you survive? Mm. It's more of an abstract cover. Not really sure what gameplay would be with all these little dots and dashes. And we have this. Mm, no, not not inspiring. Um, nope, not in, in, But it, it, look, though, it does, it is four player. It's a four player game, whatever it is. Yeah. Let's see. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the train. When will it arrive? What will happen when I wait? Find out in the spin-off visual novel set in the children universe. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think that that's okay. And this is another one. Yeah. I, I just would rather... I mean, the, the idea sounds interesting, but the cartridge cover doesn't fit... It just doesn't give me it doesn't give me enough of what of an idea of what it would be. Okay, I think um, I think I'm good. How about you? Mm -hmm. So you've got a few that you're looking at. Okay, well, I'm gonna close this and here we are. So I've got so here let me let's if you got two, um, do you want to go f here? Let me let you go through yours first. You could talk about them. Oh, um, this one, I'm thinking about maybe making, well, obviously, some kind of sailing game, but maybe an exploration thing where you're a snail on a boat. <laughs> and this one, I thought maybe you. This tentacat cat is your pet, and you have to care for it somehow. So it's like one of those, um, like, like one of those. Uh, what are they called? The the little things where you basically feed, and is that kind of what you're thinking? You feed the thing, and you pet it, and then you make it happy and stuff like that. Well, yeah, sort of, yes. Okay, well, uh, do you want to sit there and think about those while I'm going through the ones that I have? Because I've got two, four, I've got six that I'm gonna have to figure I out. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so snail forth, my friend. You don't have to call it that. Yeah, I know. I probably won't call it whatever. Although some of these are, I think some of these names are pretty good. Okay, so I'll start with this one, which is. The slide one, I just like it because it's a puzzle game, and I like puzzle games. Um, again, don't have to don't have to use this text or anything. I'm not getting. I mean, simple graphics. So if I was going to use this, I wouldn't have to, you know, I wouldn't have to do much as far as as far as um, making graphics. 
but I don't know. I mean, it, it doesn't give me the best idea about what, what the game was going to be. Yeah. You, yeah, you can sit right here so that way you can be heard if you talk. So that, I like it, but I don't know what I, I'm, I'm not really sure what what the game rules would be, you know. Um, and then I like what did I like this one about? Oh, because you're looking for hidden treasures in space. Of course, that's just what he says. Really, the cover isn't all that inspiring. It's really mainly this text. Because oh, what's nice about this uh, Fama case is you get the you get the cartridge and you get the text. And sometimes they're both inspiring. Sometimes one is inspiring, and then the other one is not. I think I'm going to click no on that one. Nest, uh, I like both the car the cartridge picture, and I like I like the idea. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to click close. And then this guy, I like it. It could be a cute little farming game, but that's a lot of stuff to make. In two hours, I don't think I can. I can't. I can't do that. Of course, we we can go to Itchio and look for stuff. I think they have some free, uh, free um, like crop stuff and tools and things like that. I don't know. I don't think I want to make a. I don't think I want to make a grow game. Then we have circular, and I told you that. What do you think about that one? Did you see this one before? Mm -hmm. You did. Yeah. Because I had a, a prototype that, well, it just reminds me of my prototype, even though it doesn't really look like it. But I had a thing that was spinning around and around. So I still like that one. You know, protect the circle. Actually, no. I, oh, I could see. I could see where. No, I could see where you could make some stuff out of that. Like he's talking about, I, I think he's saying that the squares. Well, he's saying spin the disc crush the squares before they leave the circle. But I could see it in the opposite way, which would be spin the disc and crush the squares before they get to the circle. Mm -hmm. So I still like that one. I'm going to... This one, though, I like this one. I like this one. So th the reason I like it, I mean, the, the artwork is simple. Um, and I think I could come up with something because I, you know, just be like a simple blob of some sort, and you could just do a racing game, as I said. And so I even like I like the text here too. One to two players. Heck, we could I could make it one to four players. Now that would be interesting. Is do some kind of split screen cameras. I've never done that in uh, Unity. I've never done it in Godot either. I'm leaning towards this one. Um, and I think I'm going to eliminate this one as much as I like the way it's abstract and stuff and the, the puzzle game thing. So, so it would be between this one and this one. You have any thoughts? You don't have any thoughts? Come on. I need help. Because I see what that what I would see here would be some some uh, like you would this would be in the center so the circle that you would be protecting would be in the center and you would be you would have this thing that you would be you know swinging around and as these things came in you would like launch your whatever it was you were swinging around at the at the squares and you could hit other things and get I don't know that feels like it's more I see I still want to save that one. I'll remember that. I think I, what I want to do is this. So I, it's been it's been decided. I'm going to do this one because I just like the idea of doing a racing thing and then running into walls and stuff like that. So it could be really simple. Yeah. Okay. So I think we both know what we want to do. I'm going to do a racing game in the vein of this. And it's not going to be called Meteor Heat. And then you're going to do some kind of sailing game, right? Well, what, what again is the, uh, what, what's your, what are you going to do? What's, what's the object of the game going to be? Um, explore, basically, I think. Maybe search for the perfect lettuce. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can get behind that. Okay. So we have it. We know what we're going to do. Um, so should we should we start now? Here's my project. 
Oh, um, there's something else that I wanted to do before we started. I wanted to check. I wanted to check very quickly and see if my. I don't know why my modules did not get built for for the new Unita build. I have some modules, some DLLs that I have that you can build that will. Uh, you can load, load them as plugins. And that's how I have all my editor stuff. Um, so it's actually really nice. Uh, you, should, you can actually take advantage of this too. Uh, I'll show you. When it, and it, it will load with every project. That way you don't have to have the code with each project. Okay, that's what I thought. Yep, it, 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 I hadn't had it installed. So I'm going to close this. I just built them and installed them. So I'm going to open it back up. And here it comes. And then we'll get started. Um, okay. So I have, oh, it's not, it didn't, oh boy. Well, that's interesting. It did not pull my stuff in. Cause I really, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go check it out real quick. I may, maybe I didn't. Oh, they're here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I only have one in here. And I don't have the... I don't have the I don't have the files in there. Well, that's really crummy. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'll fix it later. That's odd that that stopped working. Let's see. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna. I'll stick this up here and let you. Actually, uh, you're already getting started, so I'm gonna switch. Oh, we've already got it. Good. So can see. And remember, when you start coding, make it fairly large so that uh, we can we can see it on the split screen. That makes people happy. So I guess I should probably. You're already starting to draw, so I guess I should start the timer. Okay, starting the timer. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I didn't forget what I was doing. Yeah, it's got some... Wow, okay. I'm going to take some of the time here. And I'm going to open a folder. I'd like to get these in here. Because they're quite useful. And I won't take too long here. Surely. Yeah, it should be 10. Right? if one editor data managed unity editor huh and we are in yeah 10 f1 I bet. Ah, is there a theme? Well, the theme, yeah. Um, we actually are using the the what is it? The Famicase collection. 
So we just figured we would pick one of those. So people do these. Apparently, it's like um, every year people get together and like design a, a cover of a cartridge, and then they'll write some text about what they think the game should be. So we went through these, and uh, we picked one. So I picked this one, and then uh, Coatline, you picked uh, uh, what was it called? Sn Snail Fourth. Here, let me. I will. Yeah. Yeah, you got it up there. So, Snell, that's the one you picked. So, I'm going to try to do some kind of little racing game thing. Kind of in the, really kind of in the vein of, um, kind of like a multi, yeah, I hate to say it. No, I don't want to say that. <laughs> it, that sounds bad. Multiplayer sneak. <laughs> it doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can't just do, well, I guess I will. I guess I should probably do some kind of, Create a let's say um, let's do like 64 by 64 pixels, and I'm not used to using uh, a Suprite, so we'll see what happens. I probably shouldn't use it, but I'm gonna for now. So really, what I want is I just want I want that's what I want, but I don't want it to be that color, that color. I want it to be white. White's well, a lot easier to just change to whatever color you want. Paint bucket. Boom. That's what I want. So I can save that. And that's a huge... Wow. That's, a, that's just too... That's humongous. Okay. Where do I want to save it? I'll just save it here. Okay. Circle. I'll just save it to my desktop. There it is. No. Actually, I need to export it. Sorry, export sprite sheet. I don't want to export a sprite sheet. I just want to save it as a ping file. Circle, circle dot ping. So I'll go into my Unity folder here. And I'll add it to, I'll add a textures folder. And then I'll grab it in the. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, Ada says, got it. It's a nice concept for a game jam. I like it a lot. Yeah, thanks. There's actually a uh, an itch.io um, game jam going on where they where they where they basically use these, but they give you like I think it's like a week or something like that to do it. Oh, uh, where is it? It's in here somewhere. It's like. Yeah, here it is. Game by its cover, 2019. So it looks like they're giving you... Yeah, maybe like a month or something. So I'm just taking that idea and slapping a two-hour time limit on it. Okay, so I have my... There's my, there's my textures. Okay, I want to create another folder. I'm going to call it prefabs because I want my pixel camera I'm just gonna call it that oh and uh, I'm gonna I don't know actually I guess it doesn't really matter right now we'll just have something some kind of boring color prefabs we'll, have, we'll stick that in there we will I don't want the sample scene what I want is save as We'll, we'll call it the game scene. There we are. So we have a camera and we have a game scene. Okay, I hear that. You should be focusing on your game instead of wasting your time with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and see how far I can get. If I can get anywhere. What would be nice would be to use the... Gosh, I haven't used... You've, you, you, Coline, you've used the... Uh, you use the time map stuff. Do you have Do you have to install a package for that? You do, don't you? I don't think so. What do you do? Um, you just. It's already in there. I think. It was already in there. Yeah. I think so. No. Okay. Well, I guess I should try to make some tiles then. Let me. 
I feel like I'm going to fail this one. It just feels like... It feels like it's gonna, I'm going to fail it, but we'll see. I'm, I like it. Like Ada said, I'm, I'm spending too much time talking. So what I want to do is... So I've got the circle, so I'd call it like player. <clears throat> and then I want to um, probably add another... Uh, uh, create an empty. And then add a couple of things. Add a particle system, maybe. Um, or maybe really what I want is probably a trail. So the trail would go, I'd probably just add it as a child. Let me turn him off for a minute. So let's grab this guy. So you can see the trail. Um, so the width, I guess, I'm assuming that it's, yeah, okay. So then we would get something like that. Yeah, okay. Let me grab this again and see if it, okay. So it's just, it's just it, yeah. I need to reset the transform on this. Now it'll be right behind it. And the width is not right, but that's because, yeah, pixels per unit should be 64 here because that's how big it is. So then it should be larger, and then there we go. So the trail, let me grab it, yeah. You move it around, this is kind of what you get. So I think, It's all showing up the wrong place. Let's do like a... I don't know, something like that, I guess. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's the wrong thing. No, I want the, I want the player to be a full color. And then the trail renderer will just match him, except it will be... Here's my gradient. Except the gradient will be in the, which one is the gradient? Actually, let's grab it here real quick and then move it around. Let me go back to the, yeah, blend is fine. By the way, I'm on the left, if anybody cares. And the code line's on the, well, it says so. He's on the right. <clears throat> so is this, okay, there we go. That's what I want. I want the alpha to go to zero, just like that. That's perfect. And then actually want it maybe, maybe like 90%, something like that. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, let's do this real quick then. I'm gonna do a player script player and something that I would normally do with my some of my stuff my editor stuff will just have to do it manually which is fine okay let's go in the player script see if we can't get some movement yeah man movement All right, just bear with me. I'm gonna do okay. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be able to select uh, which controller input. So that's why I'm doing it like this. Hopefully it'll work. I can just add another player and and change the control. Yeah. Yeah, Bo Rago says, I like the concept of the jam. I would suggest it to my brother to do the same thing. It's a good exercise. I think it's a pretty neat exercise too. It's, we'll see. Maybe I'll, you know, maybe we'll do more on this if, if this turns out to be successful. How much time do we have? Oh my goodness. I've been playing with this for 12 minutes. Okay, update. I'll need a... Uh, 
I'll need a rigid body. And I'll need a circle collider. Because, you know. And it already sets it up for me, which is nice. It knows how big the sprite is. Thank you very much. And I want this uh, little fellow to be... Um, do I want it to be dynamic or I do want it... You know what? I think I want it to be dynamic. Um, uh, we'll leave all of that except for the gravity. No gravity. Um, let's go back here. So... Rigid body. If I can spell right. There's my rigid body. So we'll get that because we'll need it. And rigid body 2D. Um, so I'm going to do vec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Vector 2. Uh, let's just call it move. Um, yeah, we'll try this. So we'll say um, let's see if this works. Uh, equals new vector two. Um, get input, or I'm sorry. Remember what I'm doing here. Get input dot get axis. Let's get raw, and then we'll do horizontal, and then we'll do the same for the vertical. Right, and then let's do also a public float uh, move speed. You know what? Move speed. Okay, let's do like 40. I'm thinking we're probably not going to need a vertical uh, because that's going to be just constant anyway. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save this just in case I'm not thinking correctly, and we'll just put a zero here, which may end up being something else. So move is that, and then we'll do um, we we'll use fixed update to update the physics. And then we'll say move equals vector two dot uh, zero. We'll reset it. And then we'll say rigid body dot uh, velocity equals uh, move times speed. Yeah, move or move speed times move speed. So let's just see if I can move it now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I need to check on the trail renderer because, see, it's going really slowly. What is, the, okay, what's the difference? You know what, for fun, Let's just keep this just for now because I want to see, I want to be able to move around a little bit more. Really what I want, oh look, here we go, time. That's what I want. I don't want that time to be so long. Let's give that a go. Yeah, see that's even too long. Like, um, I'm, I'm assuming that's what that is. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And then maybe, uh, not that. Maybe like adjust that some. Maybe the, no, I kind of like the other better. Anyway, when we do this, it's gonna return, so. Um, so I'm gonna go in between and do say 0.15. Right, so we have something like this moving very fast. Matter of fact, let's make this not public right now so I can just change it. Let's start out with 20. Yeah, that's still really fast. Probably, 
if I just did like a get access, that would probably give me it would give me more of a uh, a feeling of acceleration and deceleration. It kind of makes the controls feel a little bit. Yeah, see, it's like an acceleration because it is. Um, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So, really quick, I want to go into, and I know this is probably secondary. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. So I have the vertical and the horizontal axis, and that's left and right, A and D. Um, and then we should say joystick one. So, in other words, if I add, say, 20, so we've got I bet I can't copy. Oh, I can. Oh, 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 I can. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just do that. Du duplicate this array element. Uh, did it just do it? I don't know what I just did. Why is there two submits? Okay, there's two sub. That's fine. I thought they were. Do this again. Duplicate. There it is. Can I not move it? That's fine. That'll be fine. And vertical. So I want to make this ver uh, horizontal 2. I want this to be joystick 2. And I don't want left or right A or D with it. And we'll go vertical 2. We'll do the same thing. Like so. And then we should be able to come over here with our player. Um, and I won't make it a prefab yet. We should be able to do this, and we should be able to say horizontal, horizontal two, ah, vertical two, and let's move him a different place. And let's change his color to something like this, like an evil color. And let me, oh, here's a joystick. Let me turn his joystick on. Push play. Oh yeah, there's one. Very cool. Uh, oh, I know why he's doing that. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, yeah, because he bumped into him. Bump, bump. Oh, that's cool. So I've got it on dynamic. How about how about let's use let's see what auto mass does for this. That's cool. You know, I may make these instead of. Oh, that's neat. Get another joystick. Okay, let's see if I can move the other one. No. Huh. It's moving the same one. Joystick connected. Joystick two. Joystick one. Joystick one, joystick two. That's horizontal two. And this player is horizontal two and vertical two. But I can't move them. Yeah, they both move the same. What am I missing? That's a joystick axis, actually. These are, yeah, horizontal two is a joystick axis. Or maybe it's not. Key or mouse button, anyone? No, it is a joystick axis. There we go. Oh no, that's odd. Look at that. I don't want it to do that. Why is it doing that? Okay. X axis. Let's say joystick axis. Let me replay it and see if it. Maybe the dead zone isn't. Maybe the dead zone is just not uh, big enough. Is that what it is? No. Hmm. Have a little issue with the joysticks. Let's just do key or mouse button. It's probably the dead zone. Oh, 
I was hoping to make this easier. Yeah, uh, they both move. Uh, they both move the wrong thing. Let me just see real quick what it does if I do. So this one. Oh, and I have to click on it. Yeah, see that works. It's just moving to the. Why is it moving to the right? It's got to be the dead zone. Let's see. Let's let's twiddle with this. Um, let's make it something like point one. All right, we're getting closer. Let's go to point eight. Ah ha ha! Now we got it. Okay, let's just do that. So joystick axis. Let's say like point seven five for the dead zone. In other words, if it's less than point seven five, it's not going to move at all. Joystick axis, so that's the two horizontals, which is really probably all we're going to need. But we'll do the verticals too, just because joystick axis 0.75. We probably wouldn't need to do this if I had stuck get input raw. Gosh, I don't. Hmm. Let's check it again. Hey, check this out. Uh oh. Uh oh. This one, this one's not right. This one's not right. Horizontal two. How does error? What error? Well, it's not finding your file. I found it. Yeah. Do a. Oh, no, okay, you've got that. Okay. Thank you. Little issue. Okay. So there's that one. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why this one's controlling both of them. This one controls both of them. Let me just open both all of that up. Vertical one, vertical two. Joystick one, joystick two, joystick access, snap. What does snap do? Maybe I don't want snap. Would that mean that I can go down to something a little more reasonable? Maybe? So... Well, I guess I'd leave that. Go down to point seven. I tell you what, let's do. I'm going to turn off my joysticks. Okay. I'm just going to use the keyboard for now. So, what we'll do is we'll just, we'll have one for the, uh, yeah. We'll just do this, and we'll do the dead zone back to 0 .01. 0 0.01. So there's our horizontals, the down and up, and then S and W, 0 .001. Um, S and W, 0 .001. Save, and let me check. I use the various keys here.
Oh yes, 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 that's true. And I need to do this, because it is a key. So are these. There we are. Give it to Bren. There we are, yes. Okay, perfect. That'll do for now. And if you bump into each other, then boom, you bump into each other. Okay. Then we gotta get to moving here, boys. We gotta get to moving. So we need some sort of obstacle. So I'm thinking another 64 by 64 pixel thing. And we're just gonna make something. I don't know what. Let's do some kind of field something here and just kind of. Really, the better place to do this would be in um, Pixel Edit, which I do have. But we'll, we'll do what we can here, which is what we're doing. And I'm going to just have that a little bit further away. We'll do that. We'll do this. I'm just making some random shapes in here. Filled. And then we can tile them uh, later. So we'll just, this is probably going to look crazy, but, but uh, it'll be all right. It'll be okay. This is a game jam after all. I'm spending too much time on this. See right there. I could actually do that. I have no idea how this is going to tile together. We'll find out though. We'll find out! And I can bring one out here. So just, just something to look like a wall of some sort. Fancy art is not something that we are really, really interested in at this point. Save as. I will save it as a wall. Shoot. Wall. Okay. And I'll drag that in. All right. Unity. So you're saying that I can just create what is it? A new tile. Is it a new tile? Mm. Yeah, I guess it's just a new tile asset. So we'll just call this called tiles. So there's my tiles and I'm assuming that's just one tile. So if I stick the sprite in here, collider type is gr I want to make it grid. Then I can make a 2D object tile map. So there's my grid. Here's my tile map. The orientation is XY. Yeah, that looks good. Um, hey, does... How do I get this wall into the... There's like a window, isn't there? Like a tile map window? It's been so long, the tile palette. That's what I want. And then I need to create a new palette. And I'll just call it tiles. Rectangular. Create. And so I get to... Okay. Tile, tile palette path does not exist. Oh, it's asking me where to put this. Shoot. And then tiles then. Select that folder. Drag a tile, a sprite. So then I don't need this. I don't need that. This is what I want, because I want to make Japow. That is my wall. And I'm going to put it in the tiles folder. Save that. Ah, beautiful. Hey! Oh, normal. How are you doing? 
good to have you. Okay, now I have a wall tile. It's crude, but, oh, and it's not big enough. Not large enough, probably because of this. Yes, that's why. I want it 64 by 64. We'll apply that. It should be larger. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that'll have to work. And we also want, I mean, I guess we'll do the point. And I didn't do that for, um, I didn't do that for our, uh, our ball circle. So now we have a wall and then the tile map. I, I want to make a tile map. I think you just make a, put a tile map collider on it like so. And let's create another uh, physics 2D material. I found that, uh, of course, this doesn't have gravity. Yeah, but let's do. Let's create a new physics 2D material. What am I looking at for time? One hour and 26 minutes. We're okay. Physics 2D material. Physics material 2D. Set a wall. And even though these walls look rough, <laughs> they do look rough, I'm going to make the friction. Let's make some bouncy. Let's make them bouncy. Just a little bit. Like a quarter. Let's pull the friction down just a little bit. And then I want to make, uh, also we'll make a, another physics, uh, physics material, we'll call it, um, we'll call it ball. Bounciness, we'll say 0.25. That that's, sounds interesting. Let's do 0.1 for that. And we will add that to our player, uh, the ball, and then this, Tile map collider, so the whole tile map is going to be wall. So then I should be able to take this and we should be able to do. So if we're going to go straight up from here, we could do something like the following, and that would be. If I can draw um, my eraser. B is for brush. Really, what I want is this. I want a filled box. So we start out like this. So the idea would be to paint some sort of crazy or interesting, really be interesting, a um, route, route, route that you would go D. D and U. Those are kind of odd, odd shortcuts. Let's move this over here. Uh, just trying to get something here that we can mess around with. Uh, let's do a um, And honestly, what would be cool would be to just have it um, have it fill in all of this, so that basically this is all you. Actually, we could do that. We could do that. We could. Totally, I think we could do that. We could set up. Oh, that might be interesting. That might be interesting. We create an empty down here. Um, let me create another tile map. Let's do this. Duplicate this and bring this up under here. So I'll, let me hide this one. Go away. And then we'll just uh, erase all of these. I'll show you what. We'll see if this works. Is there a better way to erase? I want to just erase the whole thing. Oh well. Should be like a clear but Oh, there is. No, there's not. It's fine. We'll just sit here and draw and waste our valuable time. It's all right. It's going to be OK. OK. So we have this. And then this should still be, yes, good. So we should, we could take, I think, we could take this, remove the tile map collider. We don't want it. Um, and grab one of these and then just paint this whole thing 
whole camera with this, change the color to something darker, you know, like, I don't know, something. And let's also change the camera itself to render some kind of, yeah, I don't know. I'm not the best at this. Something like that, I guess. Like a dark blue. And so then we have our tile map. Maybe we change that to a blue. That's kind of neat looking. And then we have our grid that's on top of that. So we kind of have a a nice looking and we can we'll bump into the wall, boom, boom, boom. So we also will want, so this is, let me just do this. I don't even need, uh, this will be our background. And we need, we do need another object. This will be our kill box. And we'll add a box collider. So what we'll do is we'll have the camera move and if, let's go down here. Let's put this down, down here. If our box collider, uh, let's turn off the background so I can see what I'm doing. And let's turn off the grid also. We have our box collider. And I want to move him box yeah there we go I want to move him down here so he's right basically like when you get off the camera just off the camera if you basically if you don't keep up with the camera then you die evil isn't it no nope, not that one that one that's what I want so so this will go along behind the camera um, and let's we'll call it, let's we'll, we'll go ahead and tag it. Um, we'll tag it as a kill box. What time, how much time do I have? One, one hour and 20 minutes. So what it looks like when the camera moves, the kill box moves, and if, then these guys die. Boom. That's how that works. Yeah. And Man, it would be cool to have some that go left and right and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I, I guess we won't do that for now. Background. Turn the background back on. And the grid. Okay. Rather crude, I know, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, that's what I want, yes. You have to select the correct one. So let's funnel these guys... gradually oh, let's not be that mean there we go And the ideal, ideally, you know, you'll have, you'd have some other pieces and parts that you could put in here that would make it much smoother. So let's do this. Let's be mean here. Yeah, that's kind of mean. You can have like a piece that goes um, like this. Are we still about the same? Yeah, that should still be fine. We'll uh, we'll fill it in here. And then we'll do this. We'll just do a giant block here, and it'll be the following like this. Uh, and then we'll let's go ahead and 
and close this. And let's just get this junk working first. I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, spend a lot of time on the art here. Obviously, who's the obvious? Um, so we need a game script. How are you doing over there? Good. Excellent. Is it coming together? Yeah. Good. Uh, let's reset this transform. I have a tool that does that much easier, but whatever. So let's make a let's make a component and let's call it a game component. Create an add, right? So what's nice about this is uh, there's not a whole lot that's going to need to be done as far as UI. I don't think. All right, game script. Let's go in. Go into the game script. So we want. We want um, scroll speed. Let's say like 25. And that's just going to go straight up. And actually, let's do this vector. Vector 2, scroll speed. So we'll say uh, new vector 2, x, y. I'm thinking about this, we probably are going to want to put this on the camera instead of here. So I'm going to delete this. And we're going to add the game script to this. That way we're just going to move, we're going to move this ourselves. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to do that. And then when we do an update, uh, we will do Let's try it this way. Let's do a fixed update. And let's say transform dot translate. Not that transform. Little transform dot translate. And then uh, we'll just scroll speed dot x. Oh man. I'd rather not be a vector three, but that makes it easier to put into into this. So let's just let's do a vector three. Z O. Like so and vector three. And then we can just say um nah, we'll leave it like that. So we'll say translate uh, vector three translation which is scroll speed times time dot fixed delta time. I'll see what that does. And then we'll have to actually, we'll need also a um, on trigger enter 2D. Um, and then we'll have to check if it's a player, but we'll just say print. Hello? Like so? All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's what I want. Why, uh, how is it that it's carrying the pull? <laughs> How's it carrying the players with it? Did you see that? It was pretty neat, but why is it doing that? That's what I want. That's really fast. <laughs> um, let's do something like eight, maybe? We're going to have to do it in the, um, yeah, we're going to do it in here too. Since it's serialized, it's all saved. 
I mean, that's exactly what I want, but I don't... Okay. Why is that... Oh, I know why. I know why. That's because... I need to make this a trigger. And... So the game... Okay, here's something. The game needs... The game needs the player prefab. All right. Uh, player. Player prefab. So let's create a player prefab. Uh, we'll grab this guy and we'll sh shove him down here. Uh, so... So we have a player prefab, so we can create a player, and that's another thing that we want to do with the player. We want to we want to be able to get to his color and change it, um, and we want to get to the trail renderer as well, which was it was right under here. Okay, we can get that. So we'll say trail. And we will say public color. Uh, all right, get, and we'll return sprite render color set. We will do sprite render dot color. Uh, 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 not a comma. Equals value, and then we'll say trail dot color oh boy start color equals value and then we'll just for simplicity we'll do in color equals value and we may have to what did I do it wrong in color there we go and then we want to grab those right here Render trail equals get component and children trail renderer. Ah. So for now, don't want right we just want to be able to move horizontally and we're gonna say move.y and we will be able to set public float y speed uh, set Move dot y equals value, and then well, I mean, you know, we want to get it. Can get move dot y. That's actually not the speed. Oh boy. Okay, we can do this. We can do our velocity equals. We're gonna to do this because I want to just be able to set the act. Yeah, I want to be able to set the actual speed. So we'll go new. Factor two. Uh, move dot x. So there's a move speed, and then move dot y. Really? Let's just do this. We don't need to. We don't even need to do that. We don't even need to do that. Let's just do this. We'll say we'll do that move speed right here. Since we're doing it in velocity, that's all we need to do. So rb dot velocity equals move. Or we could just call this velocity. Okay, so when uh, we start the game, that's that's when we will tell this to, to go. I'm going to bring in a script. I like to do my state machines 
I have a little script for state machines that I really enjoy using, so I'm going to bring that in. So let me find it. It's right here. Just a minute. Yeah, there it is. All right, let me bring it into the folder. I'll show it to you here in a moment. State machine. And we should see, after I pull that up, Pachink. Oh, debug, okay. I'll grab that too. It's just a little utility. Utility class to do prints and such. There we are. All right. So there's the state machine. And it merely just lets you do, it, it sets up a coroutine. That's all it does. So you can basically use functions as states, uh, I enumerables, and it works quite nicely. So I'm gonna use that. So we'll do uh, state machine. I'll typically name it SM. SM equals new state machine. And the behavior we'll be using for the coroutines is this one. Let's say also we need a thing that says bool. Uh, mm, moving. How about that moving? That way we'll say if moving. Then we do. And then we'll say state machine dot start. And then we'll give it a start state. And I'll just do a knit. And we'll do an I enumer enumerator init. I'll yield return null. What do we have? An hour and five minutes. Uh, yeah, so we need to create the players. Um, let's make a let's make a an, an array of players. So player players. And for now, I'm just going to make two. Yeah, and then we'll say players of zero equals instantiate player prefab. Um, ooh, that's true. Ah, yes. Would that work? If I gave it, if I gave it the parent of this transform, then I wouldn't have to worry about the, I don't think. Let's see what that does. I may not have to worry about that velocity because it should just chug it along with us. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because, yeah, I can't do that because otherwise it's not gonna, we won't die. Okay, initialize, so we could say yield, if I could spell yield right, yield return, new wait for seconds. Oh, and I'm sorry, forgive me. I forgot to make the, hey, you need to make your text larger. Oh. So the fine people at home can watch what we're doing, hopefully both at the same time, right? I'm gonna make, look how big, look how large. Oh, wow. So here, that's what they're seeing. So maybe something like that, just so they can see what you're doing. Okay, so we'll start the state machine. I'm gonna do a wait for seconds. Let's just do two. And then I'll start uh, the, we'll start moving. Like this. Baby steps, ladies and gentlemen, baby steps. And let's do this. Um, I want to let's let's add not preferences. I want to I want it in the project. Project project. project. It's physics two D. So let's add another layer. 
want to add a player layer. And we will need to change it here. Yes. And we need to apply this to our prefab because that's what we want. So we have a player layer. Players can collide with players, which is awesome. But not UI. UI doesn't that doesn't even make any sense. So the player collides with default and the other stuff. I think we're I think we'll just leave it for that for now. Right. So we're we're on the player layer, so we're looking for if this collision uh, dot game object dot layer equals and I never remember what to do here. Um, that so if it's the player layer then just do this real quick um, we're um, oh and also start moving and then we'll say four let's just do that no we don't need four we need four each p and players uh, p dot y speed equals scroll speed not y Come on. Okay. Uh, what else? What was I doing here? So many things to keep in your head. So many things. Ah, yes, this. I needed to set that just to make sure that we are doing this right here. Player layer is player. So we'll... Uh, oh, and that's the other thing. So we should have a set of starting positions for each level. So I would add a new game object and I would call this starting. And under, and we'll just have a, uh, shoot, I'll reset it. And we'll have, uh, for every one of these, we'll have a start And then I'll add a little, a little icon because they're so cute. And we'll just take these and we'll put them where we want to. Capiche? Yeah, start to, start to be orange. Or we could go all the way up to start however many. So this will just let us support however many however many uh, players we want. And what we'll do what we'll do is we'll just we'll say serialize field. No, let's not do that. Let's uh, so we're doing it right here. So let's do this. Let's say uh, var start positions equals game object dot find, and we're looking for starting. Starting, so we're just gonna do this, and uh, we'll say now we're gonna need a array. Uh, we'll say players dot length. And then we'll say here. Oh, we got this. We'll stick this up here. And we'll grab one of these. 
and we'll just say player of I, and we will say instantiate. Uh, we have, I believe, yeah, original position. So we'll do position. Position will be start position dot get child. Do 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 do. It's actually transform dot get child. Let's just make this a transform. That way I don't have to do this. Get child of I dot position. See what I'm doing there? Huh? Huh? And then quaternion dot identity. A thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. If I can do this right. Okay. And we can get rid of that. Now, so we have this little guy that tells us where to put the balls, the uh, balls, the players. Oh, and I think we have not told it. No, we got to put our player prefab in there. Bazoom! Okay, let's see if this works. There they are. And they are. Uh, okay. They are behind. Where did it put them? Where did it put them? There's a player. And his color. Okay, so he's below that. Okay. What we can, oh, that's fine. Let's just uh, change the player. Let's change the order in the layer. Let's just say he's on layer five, and that should put him on the top. Yeah, there they are. But they're not, they're not moving at this point in time. So we need to check that. So velocity dot y, and we've set, we set that velocity dot y. Let's do this, print velocity dot y. Uh, console. I want to see the console. Console. Oh, it's still zero. Oh, that's because... Yeah, we need... Hmm. Yeah, so really, we. I, I want to set velocity.x equal to zero. Not all of it. Let's see. Fight! Okay, did it... So we're not getting the... Let's check. Let's check here. Let's run a little debugging. How about that? A little debugging. Oh, and I have uh, I have these guys on the same. Apparently, they're on. Oh, they are because. Oh man, I know why too. That's not. Uh, it's not working. Because we need a rigid body, I think. I believe. Kinematic. Uh, what if it's not? Okay, what if it is simulated? We want to get that. We should be running into this. And it should come up through here and hit us right here. 
see what I mean? Let me turn this off. I like printing yo's. They're fun. They're fun to print. And the other thing we're going to have to do, I'm uh, going to have to do, is we actually need the players to already be out here. Well, we need to have we need to have the players uh, because because the players uh, we need to change these for each different player. Crud. Although since we're only doing horizontal at this point, we don't even need the vertical right now. What we could do is we could just have that in the game. In the game, we could have players, string, uh, horizontal control. Not Haas. Horizontal controls equals new string and be uh, horizontal horizontal one and we'll just leave it at, we'll leave it at that no we won't we're gonna make more horizontal two yeah whatever so we can take these and we can play a, that's public so we can say whoops in our here, in here, we can say players of i uh, dot horizontal equals chow and of i. So that way we just we just set them that way. And I could e I could go even further, and we could do. We just do this. And then we should be able to see them and set them right here. And I see I messed one up. How amazing, how amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and there. And I'm just gonna get rid of this one. So if we want more than two players, we can add them in the game here. Mm, yes. So now, what, 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 what? Horizontal, what? Horizontal one is not set up. Well, horizontal two. Oh, of course. Horizontal and horizontal two. Of course. Crazy. Yeah. Horizontal and horizontal two. Just like that. That's what I have. Now we could do... Uh, actually, it makes, probably makes more sense to do one. And then I can just do this. And this. Okay. Even though I don't care about that. Still, even so, less than an hour. Okay, so here we go. Okay, this works. So I can move them separately. And I can get through here. And he's dead, Jim. But... That's probably the other thing. I probably want to take all of these and move them up just a little bit because that's where they're probably going to be. That's the other. Mm, huh. Maybe we do need some verticality, but we'll we'll go with this for now. Basically, if you hit anything, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna get pushed back. Uh, there's some interesting interesting dynamics there. Now I got to figure out why where this trigger is going because this kill box I thought I thought that it would I know that's not going to work but 
it's fun, so I'm gonna try it anyway. I wanna see this thing move. So see it hit. See, I'd rather it... Mm. So what we could do instead is we could have the players, and if it equals the... Gosh, I don't remember what it was. How do you do invite... Oh, layer to... Layer to... I want to do a layer to a layer mask. I think I could do like a get mask. Yeah, I can. So we can do layer mask dot get mask. Okay, that's what I want. And I want it to say as default. Um, and a collision dot tag or no, dot compare tag and that would be what would I call it kill box I didn't even call I didn't even call it anything yet kill box kill box all right yo see there's a yo there's a yo there's a yo, 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 there's a yo, there's a yo, there's a yo, 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 yo. And for these, uh, the player, game object layer. Okay, so let me, let's do this. We have less than an hour to go. We have 45 minutes. I'm starting to wonder. If I'm going to be able to get a win, a win deal and everything. We'll see. Okay, layer, and that's gonna be that one. What about the tag? I mean, that's... True? And what about this? Okay, so it may actually be value. Or maybe I'm wrong. Return to the equipment layer mask for all of them. Really, I just want get. I just really want a name to layer. I think that's what's going on. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, there it is. So it appears as though the player is going to have to be the one. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, that's fine. So the game isn't going to do it. But what the game will do is it will say the following. Uh, it will say public event action. Died. So when you come in here, We will not invoke it. Uh, and then we will uh, game object dot destroy. We will destroy it. 
We need a, some kind of explosion, some kind of cool thing, which would likely be a particle system, but we'll do what we can, right? Let's see if they do go away. Oh! I have to also, uh, the game as, so we'll say players of I uh, dot died plus equals on player died. Uh, but actually, I want gets more confusing, doesn't it? Uh, I want to know the player number and public int number. Like that. So we will say invoke player number. Okay. So the game will assign these. So players of I dot number equals I. So we know which player it was. Uh, on player died, let's create that method. Okay. Um, and we need a int num players equals two. We're going to start with two. Two players. And we'll just do this. Um, and then we'll say num players. If num players equals zero, uh, let's say player number here number. Uh, then we will say let's say sm dot uh, state equals game over. And we will generate that. Where did it go? Uh-oh, did I do the wrong thing? No. Yeah, that's what I want. Generate method game over. That's what I want. So we'll if num players equals zero. Okay, state is game over. So game over will also say move equals false and then we'll put something up put up game over message uh, to do Clue one that's a to do what did a to do and I want to do um, If I remember how to do this, a Unity event. Oh no, wait, we don't want to do this. Uh, public class un, um, string observable. I want to make this a Unity event, and I want to make it uh, serializable. Yeah, and Unity event is going to be a Unity event. So. I want this to be a string observable, and I want it to be, oh, let's say, um, status. Let's do text status like that. Okay. Um, and when we init, so where's our init? Here it is. Init. Uh, this dot I'm trying to remember how this works oh, let's see We'll close that. I 
this was something like oh actually we want this to be a we don't want we want it to be a string that's what I want I want that to be a string ah come on string and now when we do this invoke that's what I want now we'll get a string we'll say game over Actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, starting, get ready. Something like that. Then I can do and the way I use this is the following. We can create a new canvas. Come on, baby. I'll do it over here. Assets create. Game object, that's what I want. UI. Uh, I want a canvas. And what was I doing for my pixel camera? It was 640 by 360. So, constant pixel size. Scale with three screen size, 640 by 360, let's say. Uh, let's match the width. We expand, match width or height. Um, and we'll add. A UI object will add a text mesh pro object um, and we will put it in the middle and I don't know what our stem C is oh, we need to fix this yield return null here for now okay uh, there's no font oh yeah that's right we've got to go into the package manager should have already done this we need to grab TextMex Pro. TextMex Pro. Oh, it is up to date. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, we need a we need a sprite asset then. I mean a sprite. We need a font. So I'm going to go into some of the fonts that I use for these types of things and I'm just going to grab one uh, and I'm going to just drag it in directly like this and we'll go into text mesh pro font asset creator and of course it's going to do this I'm going to import the essentials this is it's sending me to a window that's off screen so forgive me forgive me it's just importing some stuff and it should be done and then I can bring Bring this over, and I want the asset that I want is Sphera Sans Bold, and we will not characters from a file, but we'll say pff, I don't know, extended ASCII. Not sure. Generate a font asset. Uh, I think that looks fine, and we will save it just in the root, just like that, and. Additionally, with TextMesh Pro, you can go down through here and there is a settings file with the default stuff. And I can say, I want this to be the default uh, asset. <clears throat> so then what we can do is we can just undo this and then recreate it. And it should give me the one that I want. See, it's already set up, which I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. But we're gonna need uh, probably some kind of outline. So let's give it a little outline so we can actually see it. <gasps> How nice is that? Let's do a, um, yeah, looks kind of dorky, doesn't it? But that's what we're gonna have. So that's our status text. 
And uh, additionally, let's tell it we want it to we want it to spread, and we want the TextMesh Pro object to be centered. And and uh, we want to go over here, and this here text status we want. Uh, we want to uh, have it affect this object, and we want it to change the text. How beautiful, how beautiful. And also want to go ahead when we start and clear that out. I'll show you what it does. I'll make sure it works. So get ready, hit set, go. Okay, yeah, so what we have is, I'm gonna have to go out of that state. So we need another state. Uh, and I wanna move this state down here. And I'll say, I enumerator. This is, I'm sorry, game state. That's gotta call it game loop. So I'll say, uh, while sm.state equals, game loop. I'm just going to sit here happily and yield return null. And then I'll say state machine dot stop when we get out of it. So it'll just stop us. So then here we will say say state machine dot state equals game loop. Like so. Um, and I didn't like the amount of time. Yeah, this one. Yeah, let's try that. Now our state machine should not, yeah, here we go, set, go. So we can bump each other. And that was the other thing I wanted to try, but we're just gonna, which was adding forces instead, so you can bump each other and push each other. But for now, we are. Um, we have thirty minutes. Let's do this. When a player goes. Where are they? Here. If none players equals one, then the game is over. Um, and let's say player, ah, player let's set it to no players. And so what we'll do is we can, the well, way we can do this is we can say Game over message will be first. We figure out which player. Int winning number equals zero. We'll say full. Say players dot length. Other ways to do it, but it's faster. We're just we're just being messy right now. Okay. So if it's not equal to null, then winning number equals I and we want to break and then we can we can give our message so we say status dot invoke or yeah did I do that before I did didn't I, I used the condition no I didn't okay good 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 so we'll do this ciao and we'll do the string interpolation and say player Oh, oh, play your winning number wins and then we'll say well maybe we should do this instead yeah
we'll just stop the machine here. Um, and I will yield. Let's try this real quick. We gotta, we've got to color these players as well. So that won't be too hard. Oh, and we should have it to where you can't control them either. So if I do this, get out of the way. Player zero wins. So why does the camera... Why did the camera... What's the deal with the camera? Oh. No, something's not correct. Ah, here we go. It's 64, actually. Assets per pixel. Assets. Pixel. Assets. Pix, asset pixels per unit. I'm trying to, I cannot talk. I should just run in edit, edit mode. See, that's more like what we're looking at, but... Is that really the size we want? Yeah, I guess so. It was like 5.625. That gives us a little more... Okay. I'm okay with that for now. Um, let's just reload the whole scene. Uh, and then we'll... Like, three seconds, and we'll just keep reloading it. So we'll do, um, we can go ahead and stop, I believe, and say scene manager, that's a unity thing, scene management dot, uh, load scene, and then we could say scene manager dot get active scene dot uh, build index, I believe. So you get like a four second thing, and then let's do this real quickly. And that is, we need player colors. So, new color, we'll say color dot white, color dot blue, not black. Color dot blue, color dot red. Since we're in a hurry, color dot yellow. All right. So those are also brought out here that we can change if we want to, but we don't need to. But let's see if that. Oh, oh, and I have to. I have to. We have to set them. Of course. Crazy. Go to players. Color equals colors of. Hi. Perfect. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. There we are. Okay. There we go. A blue guy. And a red. Or a red. Oh, and look at the trail render. The trail render is back in the back behind it. Look at that. Player zero wins. Yay! That's the other thing we gotta do. We have got to play up. So we need a couple things. We need to say if let's do this. Let's do let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see if this works. Um, if I find the player game over the winning number, so then I should be able to say players of i dot. Let's just disable everything for him equals false. Let's do the same thing whenever we create them. So disable the players. And then whenever we go, yeah, right here, p.enabled equals true. So we're basically taking the control away until, until it's time to start. Player one, zero wins. So we need to also I 
I guess that's okay. It's just funny looking. If not controllable, return. We'll say the following. If not controllable, then rb.velocity equals vector2.0. Okay, and we'll just have a little public variable. Actually, let's not have it public. Let's just have it Boolean. Um, and then we'll just make a property out of it. Yeah, property. Like that. Where's my property? Right here. That's exactly what I want. We'll just stick it right there. So if so, let's do this instead. Then instead of enabling, we'll say controllable. Dot controllable equals true, and then we'll do dot controllable is false up here. Shoot. Dot controllable like that. Yep. We st I still don't have a win condition. I got 21 minutes for a win condition. Well, I have a win condition if you beat the other player. Maybe that's what you have to do. You just have to survive longer than the other player. Player zero wins. Mm, it didn't quite work, did it? That's. Did we not? Oh, here. That's why it was moving. And we need to have like a, a blow up or something. And we need to have one, a win object, some kind of other object or a, an area. So I'm going to cheat, not cheat, but I'm going to use. Uh, I hate to do it, but I'm going to use this, this ball texture again. And we're going to scale it up. Like, oh, that's big enough. And we'll make it some kind of interesting color like that. And I'm going to add, can I do that? No, no, no. I don't want that. I want a, well, that's fine. This will be the goal. And we'll tag it. We'll add a goal tag. Goal. Goal. So whoever touches this little fellow first is going to win the entire game, assuming that you make it that far. You see? You see what I'm saying? So what I need to do is grab that little fellow. How? What? 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 No, 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 no. I don't want the canvas, you crazy thing. I want this. There we are. Okay. So we'll put him at the top, assuming that you can even win. And we will put it like that. So he's going to need a circle collider. Ah! Circle collider. Circle. And it's going to be a trigger, and it's going to be a goal. So we'll, the way we'll do this uh, is we'll do it this very similarly. We'll add, instead of a died, we'll say reached goal. So we will, we will come down here, and we will say on trigger enter. So let's do this. So if it's not this, we don't care anything about anything that's not there. And then we'll just say, hey, if the collision is a kill box, else 
if the collision is the goal. Um, then we reach to the goal. And then we'll say our player number. And I need an extra parenthesis right there. That's an LCF. My fault. There we are. Okay, so we also need to subscribe to this. So it's going to be like that. But we need players of I dot uh, reached goal plus equals on player reached goal. And we'll create that. And of course, I messed up the name. Not that it matters, but it does to me. Because it looks weird otherwise. So here, Here what we can do is the following. We can do something similar to what we did here, but instead we will look for if player of i dot number is not equal to player number, players of i equals null. So then we have basically the same kind of check That's assuming anybody reaches the goal. We may have to slow this down some. It's kind of fast. Um, that's assuming more than one person reaches the goal, actually. Let's go a little slower. Let's we'll see what happens. Let's we'll see if the restart works, too. Let's see if I can work on both. Oh, I'm going to slip up. Okay, so player zero wins, which is that one. Uh, 15 minutes. Uh, boy, there's a lot more stuff to do here. Let's try, instead of velocity, rb.add add force. So let's just do, let's just do velocity. That's probably not going to work very well. Yet, because those those forces are going to be have to be a different a different uh, strength. I just want to see what we get. Actually, it, it does it is kind of working, but the ba I think the bounce for the ball needs to be less because it's kind of difficult otherwise. Let's not call it velocity. Let's call it uh, force. Oh, but that does mess this up, doesn't it? So then rb.velocity equals four, um, new vector 2 It knows what I want to type. Why doesn't it just type it for me? rb.velocity.x um, force.y. So really the only torque is that. Let's just call it move. The torque is really just the x component. I don't know. It may make it kind of neater to cooler. So you're, you're pushing each other around by putting torque against each other. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that seems to be better. It's still too fast. I think. Let's do like five. And let's go back down to the bottom. And there they are. Let's put these starting positions a little bit higher. 
just so we have a little bit more room to mess around. Yeah, that's kind of cool because it doesn't, you basically have to continue to, yeah, I like that. But it gets, they get stuck right there. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into the player. I want to open the prefab. Let's make that circle collider just a little bit smaller. Just a little smaller. So like point four five, Just a little smaller so that it should be easier to get through that. Yeah, that's that's a weird feeling, man. It's neat. So he got through. See, he's he's bumping. Let's let's turn the bounciness to the wall of the wall to zero as well. We'll just we'll have a little bit of friction, but no bounciness for now. That way, things just feel a little bit better. We got 11 minutes. Let's check that uh, circle. And I am using the circle for, okay, that's fine. Uh, gosh, let's see. I should be able to, how do you, where is the, there. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I don't want that, I want this. I want the, the pixel, there we are, what I want. So what I want to do here is, uh, you know, I just to make some things that might be a little more interesting than uh, what I should do is the following. Instead of wasting my time doing this, I should just put an outline around it, right? And that should be pretty easy to do, like this. But I don't want it filled. Just trying to make something a little bit more interesting. Okay. And then if we came to, say, right here. I'm just making stuff up. This way you could probably actually see it uh, moving. Because it should rotate. Because I didn't turn that off. Uh, let's do horizontal symmetry. That's kind of neat. One of the cool things about Ace Ace Upright. Ace Upright. Uh, let's uh, move it to some other color. Huh? A little bit less. Uh, uh, what is it feel? A paint the bucket. Huh? Yes, very good. Mm, something along this line. Huh? Let's turn off uh, symmetry. Both the symmetry. Boom, boom. Uh, oh, goodness. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will save as. And this time is not going to be a circle. He's going to be a player. Huh? Player. And that P and a G. I put the player. Oh my. Here we are. Assets. I'm going to stick the player in here and we'll switch the player. Uh, sprite uh, of course after we turn off by linear and we turn off this and we say it's 64 because we're using the circle for something else if you remember and that should not be tight it should be full rectangle I believe I believe I believe I believe let's open the player's already open so let's grab this and tell it let's make this the player what does that look like that's an odd thing uh, I mean but they move, so that's cool. I like it, however. Uh, but this part is in the wrong place. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I want. I want to grab this whole thing. How do I get the... There we go. I want the circular one. So I want to... 
Ah, cruddy. Come on now. Nope. Nope. Something like this. Yes. I want to move it. Just a little up, a little over something. Is that about right? We'll go with the pin. It's all. And go around all this nicely what I just did there. But we should be able to fix it. There we are. And fix. And save. Yeah. So let's push it back. And see if that fixes my... Yeah, I think it looks a little better. You know, it's... Well, I see that. Yeah, I do see that. Crud. No, not that one. This one, this one. Uh, this one, this one. No, no, this one. Yeah. What would have been better would have that to be a layer and then I could just change the transparency of it. I wonder if I could still move that to a layer. Can I move that to a layer? So if I cut that out and I say edit, Paste. How do I make it a little? Oh, right here. You can add a layer down here. Uh, I don't know how you add a layer. Right here? That's no, frame. Layer. New layer. So there's layer two. That's layer one. So if we want to paste this on layer two, we paste it like that. Pow. Right? And then we can say, what layer two do you look like? And then we should be able to... How do we change? Here we go. That's what I want. So we could have something just slightly like that. Let me turn this off. And then we can fill this one with oh not there there feel this one then we can ah oh yeah I hear you and we can go I don't know if that makes much of a difference um let's uh Save it as an AE sprite, a sprite file, a sprite, and then we save as a ping file, huh? Yeah? Yes. So then I find it on the on my desktop. What is it? Huh? Oh, here. Yeah. Go ahead. Do that. There we go. So just to kind of soften that a little bit. And let's just see what I have in there. There we are. So you got the little things. And you know what? Those trails need a little more time. And I'm going to increase that. Auto destruct. What is this? What is this auto destruct? What is that? No, I don't want to do that, just, just because otherwise, when it stops moving, there won't be no trail. Let's see what this does. Yeah, see, I want I want more. I want more trail. Let's try four. We're, we're down to three minutes, friend. Coat line, how are you doing? Oh, that's better. Look at that. Oh, I like that. That looks cool. Very cool. But, 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 but ooh, 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 ooh. We've got to fix that. I see that under the, the tile map here. This tile map, I see what we are missing, which is, oops, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong one. This is the tile map I want, background tile map. I want to, I want to do this. 
And I still don't have it all. Let's just do this. Now. Ha ha! Maximize on play. And let's, uh... Let's get off of the... Tile map. Tom, no more tile map. Stop. Stop. Don't want any tile map. No more. No more. Why does it do that? No, tile map. No. I want to move... You over here, and we'll move you over here. That makes more sense anyway. All right, two minutes left to go. No sounds, which is crummy, but whatever. So we have, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, look at us go. Oh, player one wins, and it should restart, and it did. That's just a lovely thing. And with the remainder of my time, which is like less than a minute, I'm gonna draw some more pretty pictures. Not really pretty pictures, just add some more. Probably should make it easier. It's not easy. Oh. And this should be a composite. Is it not a... Isn't the, the tile map collider, doesn't it create a composite collider? It should. I'm going to save this off and this. Yeah, so I don't want that. Okay, so isn't there a... Is there a tile map... Okay, I guess that's it. Oh, right here. No. Is it used by composite? Oh, so I could say composite collider? I think that's what I want to do. Let's see if that works. We've got 42 seconds, so there's plenty of time. Oh, whoa, that's weird, man. Whoa, that's crazy, dude. Um, wow, look at that. No. So I must. It must be colliding. No, that works. No, it doesn't. That is crazy. All right, we won't do that. We'll just do this. And that's that. That's it. Time's up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Countdown is done. I'll let you continue over there and uh, for just another moment or two. And then we'll call it done. Okay. And we'll get into players. Okay, you, you ready to show what you have here? Let me switch to your. So what do you got? This is my. That's your cartridge. In, yeah, your cartridge inspiration. That I can twist. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a snail. Yeah. <laughs> what are those things? Waves. What, what, what are there's, those? They're just waves. Oh, waves. Yeah. Okay. All right. That that was what I was fixing. Oh, neat. oh, that oh. they go through the thing. That's probably, a bug. But yeah, you probably just have to kill them whenever they do that. That's... I don't... <laughs> Are you supposed to grab the cabbage? Yeah. Is it... Is it does it have the wrong... Uh, uh, on the wrong layer? Or the wrong yeah, tag? Yeah, it's... It doesn't work. I know... I know. So how many other islands are there? How many islands... It's just randomized. Oh, it's randomized. Okay, can I... Let me see something. Where is... Where's the... Um, oh, it's maximized on play. Turn that off. And I want to see... I don't want to see. So, this changes every time. I see you've got these... Are you, like, destroying these whenever they go too far? Not when they... I just have a lifetime. I didn't have time. 
Okay. And also, I didn't. I forgot to make them destroy whenever they go on the land. The land, because yeah. you can tell when they hit the land, right? Yeah. Well, you can do that here in a minute. You know, afterwards, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to see a different island. How do you know that the cabbage is on an island? I just, after the, the after I generate them all, mm -hmm. uh, I just uh, get the last one that I generated and just put cool. He starts in the, in the middle. Mm -hmm. So these little, I like the little, I kind of like the little. Let me here. Let me let me um. Where's the? So then, if I go, I know where to go. If I go down, him and his little boat. There's, I think it's down here somewhere. There it is. So he comes out, and then if I grab that, you. Oh. It doesn't work right. Now. It doesn't work right now, but that's the name of the game because. <laughs> That's what it says. Oh, it's, that's what it is. You've got this. How do you do that? Yeah, so because that's what the, the, the thing said. Mm -hmm. Neat. And the trees, I guess you have, didn't have a chance to make those collide or anything. No, I didn't. All right, well, cool. Let's um go over here so we can wrap this thing up. And uh, I'll let you we'll play my game here. So you get the right and left arrows here. So just do a little play here. So all you have to do is you, you have to try to uh, get through the maze and get here first, get to the end. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, but if somebody dies, you know what I should do? It's easy enough to do. I could say instead of A game over. Player died. If number of players equals zero, we can do that. And then uh, then I'd say if the winning number equals negative one, then no one won. I think that might be more interesting because if I die, you can still go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're uh, you're these, and then I'll be these, and I don't remember which which controls. Wait, wait a minute. Got to maximize on play. Got to be full screen. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I'm blue. You're white. So I I made it controlled by the. Whoa! 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 So that's really hard. Yeah. So I had it so that you could do... Um, Accelerate really fast. Yeah, you could do vel velocity. It was doing velocity. So I had it... Which, uh, let me select... Let me do it back the way I had it. Oops. It was basically rb.velocity equals move, I believe. So let's try that. I'll be a little bit more responsive. Oh yeah, way faster. Okay, so that's too fast. But anyway, you get the picture. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can get through it. I'd like to see. Oh oh oh! This is a. Oh, I died. You gone, big boy. <laughs> Let's see if I can get through it and see if this actually works. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, what's we, what do we have here? On player reach goal. Object reference not set. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, I see. If players of I. So it did get it. Equals null. But if there's nothing there, I just need to continue. That's what's wrong. Uh, let's, uh, let's play it again. Uh, but that move speed is too fast. If we're going to just use the velocity, um, why is it moving that fast? It's really fast.
Yeah. It's just, it's too fast. Uh, did I change? Yeah, see, I don't have that public. So I can change that. So we can make that a little bit, a little bit less fast because it's really uh, jerky. How about like, let's do 15. Give it, a, give it one last run and then we'll say goodbye to all the, all our company here. All right, so I'm blue, you're white. Yeah, you can kind of push each other around a little bit. And I notice I didn't turn off the rotation, so I think it's kind of cool to add. So you got to be first, and that's another thing. I could turn on the vertical uh, movement so that you could actually catch back up. Player one wins. Now see, he. You should also. Oh, I know why. I, I know I did that. What we should do. What we should do is. Where is it? One other thing. Player reach goal. Player number nine equals player. And we'll say, because you can still control your player. And that is now you can't. That's better. Um, and then we could again, we could just we could in, I could enable the uh, the vertical as well. But Nonetheless, I think we're done here, and uh, we want to thank everybody for watching and listening and being here with us for the two hours for the Game Jam and, again, using the, the Famicase fantasy console uh, cartridges with their descriptions for inspiration. We may do this again. We'll see. And it was fun. Thanks a lot.